Hello, welcome again to Farmbook. Okay, uh, macadamia nuts. Uh, so we're here in uh, the Kippersol Hazy View area. Uh, we're talking to Jakub Prinsloof from Loskop ICT. Uh, so they've got a new uh, fertilization program, feed foliars, these type of things, where they specifically manage to uh, get fruit set on 788, which is a big problem in this area. So uh, we're going to get Jakub to give us an overview of exactly how they did it and how this type of things work. So let's find out. Jakub, how are you doing? All right, yourself. No, okay. good, good. Okay. Give me a little bit of background about yourself quickly um, in a few seconds. Uh, who are you and uh, what's your expertise? Um, I'm Jakub from Loskop ICT. I'm one of the fertilizer consultants. Uh, we work mainly in the Lowveld area, Nelspray, Taisyview, Kippersol, Barberton area on the macadamias. Uh, we also do other crops, um, but there's been a huge demand for our products and our expertise in the macadamia industry. Um, and so far it seems like we've been getting good results with uh, what we've been doing. Um, yeah, because you're saying you uh, in this area and I know you've been with the company for a few years and so long and so forth. So, um, yeah, yeah, the guys must excuse me my English, I'm an Afrikaans bloke. <laughs> in any case, um, so specifically on the macadamias, uh, traditionally what has been the biggest challenges if you look at macadamias as a whole? Um, I'd say to change the farmer's mindset to, to change their fertilizer and to change the applications, to do less applications more frequently or less volume more frequently and then obviously to get the timing right on the foliage that we apply to get the, the stimulation that we that we want to get out of the foliage. So applying the right um, product, let's say potassium for example, at a certain stage when that plant needs it. Yes, um, generally or in the past the guys used to apply two to three times uh, per season. They used to give fertilizer, maybe four times. Um, we try and bring it down to at least six or seven times. Um, so obviously you give less fertilizer more frequent, so you get a better uptake, less leaching, um, better use of the fertilizer that you do. And then obviously throughout the season, we monitor the fertilizer that we've applied. And if there needs to be changes made, um, if we pick up a shortage or something that's an excess or deficiency, then then we adapt it according. And so, uh, what's your protocols in that? Uh, do you take leaf samples, soil samples, all of that, the combination, what do you do? <clears throat> well, basically, we start um, in March. We start with our soil and leaf analysis. That's uh, that's a bit different to the norm that the guys do in the, in the macadamia industry. Um, so, we start in March with that. Then we do a soil amelioration in May and a post-harvest application in May as well, May, June, depending on the, on the cultivar and when the crop comes off, um, so that we get enough energy into the tree and enough reserves into the tree for the upcoming crop of the next season. And then we usually start, depending on the cultivar and, and when the flower is due to start, then we start in July and we usually end in um, February or March. Uh, Again, depending on the area, depending on the uh, depending on the cultivar and everything. So it, it sounds to me like it's a little bit more work to go this route. Um, but uh, when when you started with this with this block of cultivar or with this seven double eight, and you started with this, uh, did you think that this was going to be the results? Well, we expected the results, but we didn't expect this good results. Um, I think even the farmer said that they haven't had such a good set on these crops in a couple of years. <clears throat> and I think that might be due to due to a lot of factors. I can't just contribute it to the fertilizer, but I think it's the overall management and the change and the perception around the, the macadamias where you adapt the water accordingly. Um, most farmers over irrigate, so um, we adapt that accordingly and we help them to manage it. And then throughout the season, we we um, we check the crops by doing some sap analysis just to see if everything that we've given the, the tree is on track and all the nutrients are still are still um, available and and obviously not uh, depleted. And so the other thing that I want to ask you is, um, so I come from the pecan industry and I know that very well. Um, and we found that uh, with us, there's a lot of guys using stuff like uh, zinc nitrate and whatever for uh, doing foliar applications. Um, does the quality of the product that I put on in terms of a foliar application really matter or is it only about quantity? No, it's definitely quality, and then obviously the main thing that uh, that um, that would enhance it is obviously the uptakeability of the product. How do you do that? Um, we use certain products that's imported, um, technology that's in there that makes the 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 elements or the nutrients that's in the foliar much more uptakeable. Um, 
I'm not going to give names or photos <laughs> or anything, but um, but is it uh, but is it <coughs> at least is it like a biological or chemical chelation? How does that work? It's still chemical chelation, but there it's it's combined with um, with uh, other <laughs> with other products that that makes it more uptakeable. Um, especially when you spray it, the volumes that we put down is a lot less than than the conventional volumes that the guys put down. Um, but we get better results because of the technology that's in in most of the fit, uh, most of the foliars, um, especially with some of the patented foliars that we use. Last thing, um, so if I look at my macro elements versus my micro elements, um, which one do you think um, is the most important part out of uh, what is almost missing in the Mac industry? Oh, it's difficult to say. Um, I'd say what's, diff what's, what's, what's missing in the Mac industry is, is a softer fertilizer. The guys are, tend, the tendency is to go with the LAN and uh, MAP or supers and then potassium sulfate or potassium chloride. Um, and they usually apply it as straights. So what we do a bit different is we, we come in, we pull your, your soil analysis, uh, your sap analysis, we write your amelioration programs. Um, we write you a program that's formulated for your farm, for your trees um, needs and for your soil's needs. And then obviously the, the elements that's depleted in the soil or is in um, excess, we try and address that. And then from there, we just, we just feed the trees what they need, when they need it, um, on certain growth stages. And yeah, I think we get the results of what we're doing. And I'm guessing not only straights, but you believe in doing a combination, uh, combination applications of different elements at one time. Yeah, we build a we build a blend for the guys. Um, obviously, again, depending on what's what's your soils needs and your and your trees needs. So I build you a blend, and we use the the building blocks that that um, obviously first fits into your budget, and then what what is going to be the best for your trees. And then I think one of our main um, success products is definitely our, our carbon. Um, we've got a unique carbon that we use to coat the fertilizers with. Um, so we can build a, a, a granular blend or we can build a water soluble blend as well. Um, the water soluble blend we use a, um, a water soluble carbon, a unique carbon that's formulated uh, for us by a microbiologist. And yeah, that, that just gives you better working of your fertilizer, it feeds your microbes and it gives you a root stimulation. Sounds like the right way to go, Jimmy. <laughs> Sounds like the right way to go. Right, so that's uh, Jakob Prinsloo from Loskop ICT. A uh, little bit of macadamia nuts for you guys. Um, we're doing it in English. Apparently everyone here around here, most of them is English. So uh, uh, <laughs> it's here from the Hazy View Kippersol area. If you're interested in getting them to uh, come to your farm, uh, we'll put a little button here at the bottom and uh, we'll get them to contact you. Uh, so alternatively, you can go to lawscopict.co.za. Okay, uh, you're from Hazy View. Enough from me. Till next time. Cheers.